Uh, hey, it's the first day, you ready? First day of February, February 1, new month, here we go. Reading from the Hebrews, beginning with chapter 11. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, and David and Samuel and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what was righteous, obtained the promises. They closed the mouth of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword. Out of weakness they were made powerful, became strong in battle. Women received back their dead the resurrection. Some were tortured, would not accept deliverance. Huh? Others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sword in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about in, in skins of sheep and goats, needy, afflicted, and tormented. We'll leave it at that. Wow. What they went through. Hmm? What they suffered. And so... Running a church is interesting what we complain about. I saw this picture of, uh, I think it's my movie, The Passion. It looks like Mel Gibson uh, talking. Oh, I forget who, who played Christ. What does that say? Let me, um, we see the difference of what we go through huh? and what Jesus has gone through and what the early Christians have gone through. Too often we complain about, oh, it's air condition is too cold or it's too hot. Not enough parking. They didn't buy the right donuts. I didn't like the opening. I don't like some of the music. The early church said, that's your complaint? This is what's bothering you? Why, hmm? well, these people really suffered. So think about it. What do you complain about? Especially when it comes to your faith. You're willing to suffer, even die for it? Because everything else doesn't count. God bless you.